when would I use a band to resist a squat? So just like chains, Bands are a great way to modify squat. If I have weight on a barbell, it's just straight weight and it doesn't change. But if I use a band, I can change the acceleration component. I can, I can kind of toy with gravity. I can augment gravity. So if I'm resisting the chains or the bands, if I'm resisting the bands as I come up, let's say bands are tied around a bar, they're fixed to the floor, maybe they're tied to the, the squat rack that you're squatting in. And as I come down, there's very little tension on these bands. And as I come up, there's a lot of tension on these bands. Now, anything with an elastic component, like a sock, as it gets stretched, it starts to resist more and more and more. And sometimes if I just keep pulling, I can overcome that and it will break. But until that point happens, it's going to exponentially increase the amount of resistance that it gives me. So if I take this band and I tie it around this bar, I'm essentially augmenting gravity, right? It's trying to pull me down. It's trying to resist me. So I can use bands to not only turn on my nervous system by overloading the top where I'm mechanically advantaged and unloading the bottom where I'm mechanically disadvantaged, but now I have this exponential curve. If you've seen my, my video about chains and overloading chains, it's very similar, but chains load linearly, whereas a band loads exponentially. And so I can kind of augment this resistance portion. I can uh, amplify the amount of resistance that I'm getting. So when would I use bands to resist my squat? I would use them when I'm really trying to train this accelerative component through a rep. I, I don't want to spend my reps slowing myself down so that I don't jump out of every one of my squats. I wanna use these bands to weigh myself down at the top, to slow myself down at the top so that I can push into more force development, more power development as I push through a squat.